بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله يحيى ابن زكريا John the Baptist, son of Zachariah, was ordered by Allah to command his followers to do five things. One of those was, I command you to remember God. The parable of the one that does this is like the man that is being pursued by his enemy in haste, so he runs to a fortified garrison and walls him up inside away from them. Similar is the slave. He cannot protect himself from shaitan except through the remembrance of Allah. Day in and day out, we have enticements, whispers, things, and even people that call us away from goodness. They call us away from productivity. They call us away from faith. The greatest of these is Satan. Given respite until the day of judgment, he calls people to follow his footsteps. The first step he took away from Allah was being too proud to obey him. After this, he took an oath to entice man to go astray, to entice man to obey him and not God to disfigure God's creation and to entice man to disfigure themselves. On the day of judgment, those that obeyed him and followed in his footsteps will seek him out. They'll ask for help on a day when there is no help but Allah. Satan will respond to them, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدَ الْحَقِّ وَوَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ وَمَا كَانَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ إِلَّا أَنْ دَعَوْتُكُمْ فَاسْتَجَبَتُمْ لِي God made you a true promise and I promised you as well, but I betrayed that promise. I had no power over you except to call you and you still answered me. So do not blame me, but blame yourselves. Vicar versus whispers is the same as signal versus noise. Ask yourself, what's the ratio of signal versus noise in my life? Whose call am I answering? Am I allowing influences that open the door for satanic whispers and heedless acts into my life? Abu Hatim al-Razi rahimahullah, he said, the pillar of obedience in this life is to mend your innermost self and leave off those things that corrupt your conscience. Intelligent people know that it's obligatory for them to take this seriously, protecting their hearts as it sways left to right. Because the worst of times and the most bitter of tastes is experienced when the heart is corrupt. So ask yourself, where is your heart being kept? In an impenetrable fortress or in the line of attack? Who are you opening the doors for? The one whose promise is true or someone else? If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for more about time where we discuss the first 10 days of the Hijjah, the best of days.